What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Screening Lady. We are still watching Bridgerton now on episode 6, Swish. Swish. We're going straight into the reaction. I don't know what to expect. They're all lovey-dovey now. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay. I am loving it. Um, I think they're rewarding us just for a couple of seconds before something is about to happen again. But for now, okay. So this is the huge place. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife, and she has accepted. Marina, I mean. Do you know about this? People are looking at you. Congratulate the happy couple. <laughs> Benedict over there, like. I just can't wait to get to my orgy again. <laughs> you barely know the young lady. What on earth are you thinking? I do not require your permission to marry Miss Thompson. Mm hmm. Which I would very much prefer to have your blessing. Then I'm afraid I must disappoint you. You have. In more ways than one. See? Now there's just another reason for not liking Anthony. But, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're seeing something else happen. Jeez, this is a huge I place. The reason why every mama of the time keeps her daughter in total darkness without certain. Mm. <laughs> I have prepared to study for you to work, your grace. Jeffries, I'm on my honeymoon. The steward has left the records in some disarray. I love this. From Her Majesty Queen Anne. Oh. For his military triumphs against the French, I believe. My younger sister hires him to something of a student of history. Very well, your grace. Here we are. I'm impressed. Right. Where the former duchess is going to take tea with this too. Does she like her? This room what? First. You wish to be decorated. <laughs> Make it more blue? There is much to be done now that the Duke and yourself are in residence. Oh, well, even more reason to allow them some respite then. This <laughs> cause is like, is that what's happening? The former duchess. Yes. She was beautiful. Thoughtful too. Most proper. A perfect duchess. What okay. does Reggie, I mean, what does Simon need to overcome? Should we move on? To break that vow. I mean, we totally understand where he's coming from, Let but. Show your grounds. I don't know. Is he scared that like, he'll be as cruel to his son as his father was to him? I think. Is anything wrong? <laughs> You're so far away. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is easily remedied. It's no trouble, Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> what is... They're... They're all like, what is going on? Oh, and if you hear some music, it's from my neighbors. They're having a party. Like, every day. Paper the drawing room in Flamingo Pink Tool. I'm sure I shall love it. You do know... You know There's so... Oh, the servants are like, what is going on? He's sweating. <laughs> Your grace, should we go upstairs? I have a better idea. <laughs> Just take out the dining table. Just gonna get all of this? Like every episode? I mean every minute? 
Death of my late mistress, the Duke lived almost exclusively in London. <laughs> but the late Duke must have loved his wife very much. What's wrong, Penny? She plotting something. Where is she looking for the letters? 
Mm. How dare look, you? Look, look, look at the oh, signature on George's Oh, right, 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 right. So many months ago. Penny found out what so her so mom is doing. The, same. the slant of the lettering, it is all... If it is true, George has still not replied to my letters. He has abandoned me. Because the mom's probably keeping it. Marina, what will you do when Colin realizes the child is not his? That day will come. He is not simple. What I will do is live safe in the knowledge that my husband is a good and kind man. He would never turn me out on the street. I'm not feeling Marina he right now. Both, come what may. But what of him? What of Colin? Your love is an unrequited fantasy. Tell me about it, girl. And regards you no differently than he does Eloise. Even if they hurt your feelings. Okay, now we're not really feeling Marina. Are we? I'm I'm not feeling her now. Right, we keep getting a lot of this, right? How does a woman come to be with child? You, you, your mother. No, my mother told me nothing. Yep, yeah, she really didn't. Please, no embarrassment. It's so frustrating. I still, I don't know how to feel about this yet. Cause like, should we have known about his vow like from the beginning? I think it makes sense, but now it's just frustrating. Wow. Okay. I was talking through his ass, I'm sorry. <laughs> now she's not feeling it too. The problem is she doesn't know about his vow. So to her to her it feels like it's his choice right now, right? Now it's a little frustrating because she's here doing this while well, all of us know the real reason why Simon doesn't want to have kids. Talk about it. Let's just talk about it. <laughs> what just happened? Opportunity did so she? I did the very yeah. same. I told you I cannot give you children. Cannot and will not are two entirely different things. You, you were the one who insisted on this union. Yeah. You told me I was enough. Yeah. Since before I knew you. Um. Do you know I even felt pity for you? How are you all? How did you guys react to this scene when this happened? I mean, he clearly said he. All is fair mm. in love and war. The oh yay! Finally, than the human heart. <laughs> oh, Penny. <gasps> Marina. As if the Featheringtons did not have enough to be dealing with, Miss Marina Thompson is with child. Scandal. Oh, goosebumps. Damn. Desperate times may call for desperate men. Do they get Lady Bosom? I would wager there? many will think her actions be. But I ask you. So can she's trying to keep this in. Justify can I say that? Wretched means. Yo, I don't know what happened. Okay, so we have to address the elephant in the room first. Like, towards the last third of the episode, I had to stop for a while because I was late for this online workout session that I had. So yeah, hair is a little wet, top is still the same, just so we can have some continuity going on. Um, episode 6 is kind of a mix for me. The first half, there was a conflict of just, you know, domesticated problems, and it seems a bit off coming from, like, such 
high and fast paced um stories like the first five episodes but then we get to a layered drama amidst all the but I am a little torn in how the story is working out so far at this point. So Simon said that he can't have kids no matter, I guess the fault is that he didn't say to Daphne exactly why he can't have kids. I don't know why they have to keep things from each other. And Daphne on the other hand is like, Daphne was supposed to be okay with it. Or I don't know, I, I'm not, I'm not like super yearning to be a mom right now. So maybe I just don't get it. But so far, we have this last obstacle, I guess, but it's a great cliffhanger on the whole Marina Colin Penny feud. I am it. Whistle down is Penny. That is my theory. It's pretty. It it's becoming obvious. I hope. I hope I'm wrong though. I hope someone punches me in the face and tells me the real truth behind it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry to get just a little bit of an outfit change in the middle of the video. And if you can, please subscribe to this channel so you won't miss a thing. We're gonna talk about shows, we're gonna talk about movies, and we're gonna talk about whatever it is that you want me to talk about. So, see you in the next one. Bye guys!